Let's try and understand the Jan 22nd Pran Pratishtha of Ram Lala at Ram Lala Virajman. One of the first aspects is that Pran Pratishtha, that is infusing life into a murti, so that it takes the form of a deity, is different from consecration. Consecration means that you are actually then deeming or rendering a land to be holy. In this case, Ramlala is already Virajman, that area is already sacred. What is going to happen as per the Sanatan Riti Rivaj or the Hindu way is that you are, there will be a deity of Ramlala, the age of five years, that will be placed there and there will be life that will be infused into the deity as per the Anushthan or methods that have been prescribed among the Vedic scriptures. Now, the interpretation of these scriptures or vidhis, the rituals, the way it is done may differ depending upon which sect or which group of Acharyas are leading the entire Pranapratishtha. But the instructions of the Acharyas who are presiding over this must be followed. So, like in the case of Sabrimala, the way or the vidhi or the, the uh, way of Pranapratishtha of the Ayapa deity may be different and can be different from the way the deity of a goddess will be installed and uh, Pran Pratishtha would be done uh, in Bengal. Similar uh, aspect with anything to do with Shiv in, in Gujarat. So there will be some difference in the methods but the process is that there have to be Acharyas who are learned people, who have the rights, who are custodians and who have the ability and who have the rights the power to be able to infuse, chant those mantras that will infuse the living spirit or the energy of the divine into the deity or the murti. That is the entire work of or perhaps the entire ritual of Pran Pratishtha, the way we should understand it. The other aspect is that the person who is the yajman or the person who is going to preside over the function and follow the instructions of the acharya can be anybody. Usually in the past it used to be the Raja or the ruler of that particular area or somebody nominated by the ruler, designated by the ruler to go ahead and conduct. Now many dev devasthanams or in many devalayas, that's what temples are called, Hindu temples are called, in many devalayas the uh, organizing body itself decides that they would want somebody to preside over there. So it's either the president of that Devasam board or uh, a, a senior a known public figure, a very well respected, enlightened public figure who under the guidance of the Acharya would go ahead and complete the entire process. Sometimes Shankaracharyas are also inv uh, invited for particular deities and from various regions depending upon which region it happens. And in this case, What's happening is that the Prime Minister is the Yajman himself. So what does it mean? The Prime Minister is the elected leader who has the mandate of the people and technically in a democracy is the one who's got the task of responsibility of governing the nation. So in this case, the Prime Minister could nominate somebody. He's also the chairperson of the Ram Janbhumi Chetra. So there are multiple uh, roles or hats that Prime Minister Narendra Modi dons along with the fact that as a Pracharak of the RSS and a career RSS person, he has been part of the Mandir movement since the initiation itself and has always believed in the cause of Ram Lala at Ram Jan Bhumi or Ram Lala Virajman. But in this case, the Prime Minister was also the Yajman presiding the function along at the instructions of the Acharyas when the Shilanyas also happened along with the RSS chief Mohan Bhagwat. So these will be the two people who are now once again being designated Yajman, the Prime Minister himself, and he will be the one presiding the function or leading the function on behalf of the people inside the Sanctum Sanctorum as the Prana Pratishtha is completed of the Murti of the five-year-old Ramlala. Now, the person who is going to work towards infusing divinity into the Murti also needs to have a certain level of divinity invoked in him and there is a certain rigor or anushthan that needs to be followed. And that's what Prime Minister starting the, uh, the you know, uh, 12th of January is going to follow and he himself in the audio message has revealed what he is going to do. 
he has been instructed by the acharyas who are presiding over the pran pratishtha in consultations with them what is the yajman supposed to do the yajman is supposed to follow a certain level of rigor also concentrate and hold control all the indriyas or all the emotions the five indriyas try and regain a certain control maintain certain austerity so that there is a certain level of divinity also invoked in the yajman while they undergo the entire pran pratishtha this is the normal hindu way and that's exactly what prime minister Nare the mundi is also following so what is this this entire uh, ritual or this entire rigor encompass not ritual but a rigor the rigor encompasses a lot of discipline the prime minister given his hectic schedule given his travel given his commitments and his engagements and the busy life that he has as a prime minister despite that he has agreed to undertake a certain responsibility or a commitment and what does that commitment entail he will have to wake up in brahma mahurat brahma mahurat is usually between 3 to 4 am or 3:30 to 4:30 am so bright and early as the as the night fades and the day awakens that's that period of dawn just before dawn and that's why it's called the brahma mahurat he'll have to be awake at that time he will have to finish his uh, ablutions morning ablutions have a bath and chant the name of ram he has to do the ram naam chanting and thereafter also do a puja until then he cannot have even a drop of water so he has to do it nirjala without any water and then only he can have his uh, uh, the water for the morning and the, throughout the day then he has to follow a diet of fruits and not too much very little at different hours and he has to maintain this diet till dusk and after dusk he has to then perform a puja of ram and he has to finish the evening puja and then partake only satvik food so there are certain foods which will be cooked in a manner which is satvik uh, which is uh, pure without too much of spice it does not have rajas or tamas elements it is purely sat elements and that's why it will be called a satvik food and that's the only dinner that he will have and post that he then again has to wake up at brahma mahurat the next day and follow this routine right through along with this he has to engage in only positive discourse he cannot get into any of the submit to any of the avarices vices or even the emotions which are negative so anger jealousy uh, enmity feeling of animosity uh, or uh, using abusive language foul language or partaking of uh, anything that is considered tamas or rajas is not allowed so all of this is something which he will have to follow as prime minister while undertaking and devolving his duties he has said that he will do it over the next 11 days that's what the prime minister has undertaken so there is a certain level of purification rigor discipline and of course chanting meditation and awakening the consciousness within the person who is going to go ahead and be part of the entire pran pratishtha along with the acharyas and sadhus who will be present inside and who will be leading the ceremony so the acharyas will instruct the prime minister will follow as the yajman and that's how the entire ritual of pran pratishtha will take place on the 22nd of january so along with the murti along with the entire sanctum sanctorum there is a purification of the person who will be also leading the entire pran pratishtha ceremony that is the prime minister himself